Hi there, Scorpios. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing really good. Um, we are going to start with some sage, actually, because I just did Cancer's reading. So let's actually, let me use the lighter because that is too hot. I hope that's not too loud, that fan. I can turn it down if it is. Yeah, let me turn this down a little bit. It was really hot in here though today. Alright. So, messages for Scorpios for their highest good. If you want a private reading Scorpio, I can be reached in the description box below is my email address. And give it about 24 to 48 hours with that anyway. Because business picked up so that's really good so let's use let's use the moon oracle and let's pull the first card opening up to your spirit team your angels okay, messages scorpio Compromise. Oh, and another one wanted to come out. Promotion. Ooh. Maybe something also could be like being promoted or something like that. It might have something to do with that. So let me look up in the book. Like I said, this is the Moon Oracle. So let's go to the Balsamic Waning Fire Moon. Number seven. Seeds compromise. Um, it says it's kind of natural here to use your talent, creativity, um, and sensing that something might need to be done like uh, after a period of inactivity, which that kind of makes sense anyway. But it says creative action is all important so you can focus on like long-term planning here the seven of seeds very similar to the seven of pentacles all right so the three of buds the waxing air moon promotion promotion waxing air moon three promotion buds all right so, oh wow, wow. <laughs> this card is about when you need help at the right time, at that right exact moment when you need help the most is when it's gonna come. You may even have like an unusual um, approach and there could be a partner that kind of pops up to also help you with some kind of promotion or to help you to help you out to promote what you're doing or to assist you in some way All right so those are there we go that's what the moon oracle has to say let's see what a breakthrough does let's see what a breakthrough does for you breakthrough spread for scorpio Breakthrough spread for Scorpio. Okay, six positions. The first one is going to be your pattern. Three of air. <laughs> My goodness. Learning. You're learning. Six of air is a challenge. Two of cups is your breakthrough. This is what I was saying. Like, help is going to arrive at the right time. This card is saying there's going to be somebody that is coming to help you. Oh, wow. Oh, this is, I'm picking this up as being very, very busy. 
and then you have this big change coming in and it's not always the most comfortable but there is definitely a partner or somebody who's going to help you get through it all let's do one more angel message here for scorpios union in reverse so what's the breakthrough if, if it has the breakthrough has something to do with the two of cups hmm you know what? Put this up a little bit so I can have a breakthrough in, in my camera view. All right, so the pattern, the three of swords, which is a heartache, a loss, but it's it is the pattern is about learning from this and turning it into some kind of wisdom for yourself. So tell me more. And sometimes it's a third party situation. Sometimes it's just something that ends kind of painful. And it might be an ending of some union because I have that as the extra card from Spirit. Yes, a new beginning is here. <laughs> the full, a new beginning is here. Oh, wow. And a soulmate energy is here. So a new beginning is here as well as a soulmate energy to hear and I'm getting to help you heal your heart and move forward with like um, revived zest for life the six of swords is the challenge I really think that's very obvious about leaving one place and going to something better leaving a stormy time going towards something better because your breakthrough is that there is a partnership out there that's going to be more um, in harmony with you. Ending up staying in things that um, are already like not working out. There's that challenge. Ace of Wands. Passionate new adventure. The Hermit. Yeah, so this energy is saying, look, the challenge is for you to move on. There's this beautiful new thing here want to come in and the action to take is the knight of swords which is like a seize the day opportunity and this is a passionate new beginning tell me about the page of wands in the reverse which is your power by the way so i i'm all right a little bit serious yeah a little bit serious will advocate for somebody um is okay to put in the work is okay to wait for some news sometimes too um but this is like assertiveness and going after what you want it it's kind of like no playing putting the serious stuff um in the forefront and it is also standing up to some kind of people that are giving me a not so nice vibe like somebody like being able to stand up to people who are just wanting to give you not so good news you know what i mean Queen of Fire, you also have 1313 here. I don't know if that's a, that seems like an awfully serendipitous type number, 1313. Empress in Reverse. So Empress in Reverse, and this is the outcome, is an energy that um, is choosing to focus on themselves for whatever reason that is. So sometimes this Empress energy is, um, in the reverse needs a lot of healing needs a lot of attention on being able to adequately like take care of themselves i feel like this empress energy has been doubted and is not confident so there's some more confidence needed here and you're being inspired like somebody is trying to come into your life at this time to help you get through this uh, hard hurdle or this hard chapter in life. And it's definitely after some kind of breakup. This can be about healing mother wounds too. Healing mother wounds. So two of cups, tell me about the breakthrough. Who is this or what is this? The Knight of Wands in the reverse. This could be somebody from the past. This could also be player kind of energy. This could be more than one person because I'm set, I'm getting to pull another card. 
I'm just feeling like something was a mistake. Feeling like you should have trusted your intuition. This person that broke your heart made you feel really vulnerable. And so knowing in comparison what the right person that would be for you, this person is like player energy and they're just, um, I don't know, constantly immature, making mistakes and stuff like that. And I feel like you're constantly standing up for this person too or defending them. Mm hmm even though it's not working the king of wands in the reverse and the queen of fire in the reverse no doubt both the divine you know partnership it's all divine but when we have it in the reverse um this is a less than inspirational couple because <laughs> it's just not working so spirit let me get another deck here and you can tell me why are the king and, and queen of wands in the reverse Leo Aries energy. Tell me why they're in reverse with Spacious Tarot. And that's Dreams of Gaia, by the way, because it's just not working out. Because it's not working out. Um, and so this union is in the reverse because of it not working out. That's why your angels are saying, yeah, no, there's something better. When it's true love, you'll know true love. You'll just feel it. Tell me about um, tell me about this new thing then that's here. Has uh, Scorpio met this person? Oh. New relationship on the bottom. The beginning of the new relationship. This is about finding your strength and confidence here too. Because strength is in the reverse. Somebody in this partnership, though, or it can be about trying to build something, too, because the king of wands usually is a builder. But if it's in the reverse, things aren't going that great. Um, strength in reverse, though, is saying that somebody here was overconfident and really standing up for, I don't know, a person or a connection when... The news wasn't really good or something wasn't coming in good about this person I'm sorry I'm just the messenger <laughs> give me something else about uh, the union being in a reverse page of swords in the reverse miscommunication and some lies miscommunication and some lies in fact I'm being directed to do the in the shadows okay for the change let me get one first on the Knight of Swords and then we can wrap up the tarot part and then go into the in the shadows. So the action to take is the Knight of Swords. Oh yeah. And have confidence. And have confidence. Time to uh, get away. Time to retreat. Try, time to escape something that just didn't work out because look, you also have this six of swords and the eight of cups now and the strength to do it like that's the strength this isn't working this person isn't good for you they they're you're standing up for something that never brings in the good news and yeah yeah um breakthrough is your choice it's your choice so the change that comes in it's telling you to seize the day And spend some time it's divine time that you spend some healing um, with yourself with the hermit and not be afraid to do something and go off on your own which that's easier said than done right I know that <laughs> much easier said than done. all right so tell me about the knight of swords tell me about the knight of swords at the hermit and the strength and then getting away tell me about the action Another Knight of Swords, Explorer of Swords. Seriously, there's your confirmation. You have a lot of confirmation, a lot of um, things coming in like several times, right? This is not comfortable, you know, that sometimes, sometimes the Knight of Swords is like uh, doing something really big, like cutting 10 inches of your hair off. And it, there may be like an adjustment period to what you're going through. But it's going to be better than what this outcome is. So let's see what their shadow, 
whoever it is that's not working together, what are these shadows of this couple who's obviously not working? What are their shadows saying? Wow. In that moment, I didn't care. I know more than you'd think. Look, and then this is what you have to find the strength for, I think. I love myself enough to walk away. One more. I pretend that I don't care. And that might be some immature or the Empress in reverse, you know, kind of like I said, that energy is feeling like it's lacking confidence, really needing to be creative with the solution here. But but maybe it looks like this person doesn't care when, of course, they, they probably do. There's probably just some kind of insecurity or something like that underneath it all. Right. What was that saying? Hurt people hurt people. And it's, it's true. And that's kind of what that Empress energy in the reverse is like uh, almost unintentionally doing too. I have Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. <laughs> ending. Three of Swords. Ending something. Ladder. Climbing towards success. Man. Dealings. Relationship with a man. Let's get some tea leaves. So, uh, the other half, by the way, you're like, Kim, these are tea leaves. <laughs> no, this is the other half that I'm talking about. So, ladder climbing towards success. Beautiful. Money path. The path with money is waiting for you to find it. Nice. Let me say this again so you can affirm this if you want in the comments or to yourself right now. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Bird flying. News is on the way. Purse. Pay attention to your finances, especially when you're... If, I know that if you're trying to find a money path, then you're going to want to be careful with your, your purse and your finances at the moment or in this moment. Um... Spirit, give me a really good reason as why we need to pay attention to the finances, too, from Tarot, please. Oh, okay. Because something might be delayed. They also might be saying because, like, life in general can, can be asking a lot out of you, money-wise. Maybe hidden expenses, but put in the effort, and that gets turned around. So if there's a delay, though, they want to, to make sure that you have enough, like, held back in case of a delay. Yes, that's the exact message. And this is a wish granted. You're getting your justice. You're getting what it's going to feel like. Yeah, this feels balanced now. Your happiness. Your happiness. All right. Oh, three. You've got threes all over the place. Expression comes naturally to you. Three, three, three. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through creative pursuits and conversation. You're able to get others on board with your ideas. I'm charismatic. Two, we're ascending. I am diplomatic. You have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive, unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others to the most fair and beneficial outcome. And then all in all, you're harmonious. You can relate to others on almost a cosmic level. You're dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds and getting others to understand your point of view using a gentle means i'm harmonious so i mean there may be something really big and in, in about to sell something or sell something about to uh, close a deal and money coming to you in that sense and so it might be like type of commission work where it comes and it's a little bit late but it does come yeah take care of yourself about to be in the spotlight about to feel like everything's even so that's what i've got for you scorpios if you want a private reading reach out to me the email address is in the description box below and until next time bye guys love and light